Welcome to the Sam Livecast. I'm Sam the Cooking Guy, your host. This is my home. We're live in San Diego, California, and I'm wearing a girl sweater. Oh. I'm actually not, but every time I put the sweater on, Kelly goes, oh, it's a girl sweater. That's not true. Does it man. look... Does it look like a girl's sweater? It's a little girly. No. Why is it girly? No. It looks like it's a, a hoodie, hoodie sweater. No, no, no. It's a hoodie sweater. I'll tell you why. I don't think. <laughs> you said it's because the arm, the sleeves are too tight. They're not too tight. They're tight. Fortunately, I'm ridiculously masculine. I I'm just joking. It doesn't look girly. Really I don't think it looks like a girl's sweater. No. Yeah, your girly friend <laughs> says it doesn't look girly. <laughs> no. Just That's so you know, Max, I can't hear anything. And okay. I'm playing with the plugs. Oh, well, let me see what you've got. Which headphones do you have? Little piece? Okay, okay, let's move on. Lynn will figure it out. It's okay. Steve It's your it. mother. I heard something and then Steve messed around. Well, it's your, it's your mother. You okay. just dismiss her like that? Okay, so stop the show and want, you want to go figure it out? <laughs> uh, I, I, well, she, like, she needs to hear. Well, I don't have a green light. Give me neither, one second. Neither she one needs of a battery. Your, your mom doesn't have a green anyway. light. Did we change the batteries in Steve's headphones? No, neither one of our... Like, no. Lynn and St Okay. Do you, I, can, I can get up and go get the battery right now and bring it to you right now. No, no, no. I just, want, I just want... Okay. Look, it's very simple. Okay, I'll explain. I like she these two people to be able to hear. I know, so she that's needs all, a battery. That's it. That's all. And thank you for being on the screen while we're having this uh, conversation. If you'd like, I can stop everything I'm doing and go no, get it I'm not. I'm right just... Now. I want this to work for the... Is it a 9 volt? She needs it's to... It's a listen. 9 volt. Yes, it's a 9 volt. Right There she is. Why are we getting batteries at this time? Why are we getting my watch stopped? My watch isn't working. Why are we getting batteries now? Do we not have a checklist that was oh, yeah, batteries? It dead. It's dead. Steve just licked it. Everybody knows that about nine volts, right? What, at what age do you figure that out? <laughs> like you're five. If you lick a nine volt. Here, I'm not sure if this is working. <laughs> I'll do it, I don't mind. I run. Somebody post something on Facebook. I, run. I did. Our There's not, our screens our screen aren't. Ah, I apologize. I don't know if, if you're there. Are they there? We're on now. We're on now. We know Kelly. Can you see? Are we really on? Yeah. We're on. We're on. I apologize for that. Something happened. We don't know what it is. We're going to try not to let that happen again. But we're live from... We're live from San Diego. And now I'm just in a shitty fucking mood. Will somebody post something on Facebook so that people that lost the feed will know what's going on and... Absolutely. Don't do that. And now we'll pick it up from, we'll, we'll edit it so that when it goes up to iTunes and on YouTube, it'll be okay? Yes. Can we do that? Yes. Absolutely. Got that done. Why does this happen to me? doesn't happen to anybody. Here's the thing. It's live. So part of this is going to happen. The only good thing about this is that I'm drinking and you can't really tell me going red because I have a tan. You do. You have a nice tan. Thank you. Where'd you go? <laughs> if you were here last night. I know. I know. Mm. Now I'll think about something happy to talk about. <laughs> It'll change my mood. Do you notice? Put, the, put you guys up on the screen in the back. Yes. Because Max has not said a word for the last <laughs> two and a half minutes. <laughs> Nothing. Completely silent. <laughs> well, still and is. that didn't help at all. No, he's still not saying anything. Why aren't you saying anything? You're mad too. I just hate the way that you handle things sometimes. What, what do you mean? Like, obviously, if it <laughs> screws up, we realize that it's a problem and we don't mean for it to happen. No, of it's course. Like everything screws up and you go, oh, guys, by the way, we really need to not have things screw up. I That's don't think I idea. said that. That's not what I said. That's pretty much what you no, said. No, here's what I said. I said what these guys didn't hear is that we need to be prepared to go pre-live Let's just have this conversation in the open. Let's do it. I, I don't think I you are. Okay. Here, here's the thing. I want to. I want to just chime in real quick. Do you not understand? having the having us show what everybody's doing 15 minutes beforehand wouldn't have helped this particular issue. But I do agree with you. I think we should have. Okay. All I know. All I know. Time. From yeah, my yeah. seat right here. All I know is this. What? Just let me backtrack for a second for the people watching. The show starts at six o'clock Pacific time. I like us to go what we call pre-live. You can't hear what we're saying, but you can see what's going on at least 10 minutes before. Today, we were not there. There was all kinds of shit going on. And like right when the show was going to start, Lynn said, I need an extra minute. So in my mind, I'm going like this. Wow, something went wrong. Like if we were ready 10 minutes earlier, no. we might have caught that. Um, that's wrong. 
we could be ready for an hour. We could have the pre-live on from 5 to 6 p.m. And something can go wrong at 6.01 or at 5.59. And there's I, nothing we okay, can do Okay, that's fine. That. I understand that. But I'd like you to roll the tape back and show me where I said, hey, don't let shit fuck up. Because I didn't say that. <laughs> Paul says, settle down, boys. I know. <laughs> hey, you know what? I, I think this is just kind of a cool lesson in live TV. Mm -hmm. like, okay, I just oh, so here's the thing. I went off prepared. I love the fact that it's live. I'm prepared to accept some of it. To do this recorded would mean that the Facebook people and the, and the Twitter people couldn't correspond with us right now. Absolutely. And if you're on my Facebook, facebook.com forward slash the cooking guy. Is that what it is? Sam the cooking Sam guy. Sam the cooking guy. <laughs> you can ask a question. You can say, hey, why are you such a fool tonight? Or why are you using that pan? Or what can I do with this leftover bacon that I've got? And the answer is just eat it. Put it in <laughs> everything you've got. Uh, but. You can find out that. The live is live. The live is live. That's what that means. That's why most stuff isn't live because stuff happens. So just I'll go back. I'll say I Paul, I didn't. I'm not coming. I hope I'm not coming across like a dick. I don't want to be a dick. But I want the product that goes out to be good. No, you know, I agree with you. I think we should have that right. like live pressure. We should be ready 15 well, minutes. It, before. it is. So let's do that. I let's just often, say right often? now, right now, we say our goal is pre lives at 545. Yes? Yep. Who's in? I, I, I'm in. Okay, that's been a goal, but what you're not understanding is that we can do that. We can be pre live for an hour every single show, and it's not going to guarantee that something's not going to go wrong at 559. I understand. Same. But I can tell you this. If something goes wrong, mm -hmm. the fact that we're ready early, prepared early, is going to be bad. I think we're eliminating the chance that something's going to go bad. I think we should heed Sandy's advice. What? Sam, there are people starving in Africa. Let's cool down and <laughs> move on. That's and true. this is not good TV. Okay. That's yeah. true. This is not good TV. It's not even slightly interesting. I, I would disagree with that. I think it's interesting <laughs> what goes... I like to see these people, everybody else put on a live uh, thing. No, okay. I think okay. that aspect. Even see, I've watched, I watch CNN sometimes, and they are like, all right, let's go to the clip. And there's no clip. <laughs> and they sit there. And, and then they recover clip. within five seconds. <laughs> yes. And the show keeps going. You it's don't enough. yell at the whole it's crew. A, I'm not yelling at the crew. Oh, man. FYI, I yelled just a little bit when we were dark. Actually, I think yelling at the crew is entertaining. So <laughs> yelling at the crew would be okay. good. Okay, so I found, let me just change the subject. I'll just take it in a new, different direction. I found something in the supermarket today that I hadn't seen before. Take my computer. There you are. Tortilla stuffers. What if the? you didn't know what to put, it's a meal starter. It says, if you didn't know what to put in your tortilla, here it is. But check this out. Ew. This bag that's on the shelf Ew. includes meat. What? Ew. And in this case, it's mesquite chicken. I should have bought it. The oh. best, the next best thing I did was took a picture. It's got a clear bottom, and that is what's in it. Oh, oh no. Why would they make it a clear bottom? So I don't know. I on. don't know, dude. And that's frozen? No, frozen. That's shelf? It's on the shelf. Get out of here. The shelf. Okay, it's bad. on the shelf. Someone was like, that's going to be a good Just idea. like that. If they can peek what's in So this there. is a mesquite chicken wait, one. Wait, there okay. Was... It's on the shelf? It's not in a fridge? No. no. Like oh. This is on the shelf. It's beside the, the, the salsas. How does oh. that work? Somebody should get fired for that. By the way, it's in the like the Mexican food section. Is which, really? by the way, anything from old El Paso probably shouldn't be. It should no. be in the white person section. Right, that's the El Gringo section. <laughs> right, it doesn't belong there. Kelly Tortilla stuffers. Those. Kelly Myers has tried them. Really? She and? says they taste muddy and black. Oh, well, let's take a look at that bottom goes, picture again. Oh, no, I let's don't Let's take like a look it. at that picture again. That's why they taste muddy, because it looks like fucking mud in that. You know oh, whose idea that was? A white guy? No, the grandson of the owner. <laughs> Dave Just says they're really from good. College. I'm sure they're delicious. He says he gets them all the time. <laughs> What other flavors do they have? They have That's beef. There's question. a beef one. <laughs> this How does is that look? <laughs> this looked worse, actually. That That's why good. I took the picture. I love how they're so blatant. Includes meat. That's a terrible line. Yes. <laughs> Includes meat. And wait, it's a meal starter. Oh. What is it, an appetizer? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like a hamburger helper, I'm sure. Yeah, that's like... Oh, that's exactly what What do we is. need, ladies and gentlemen? What is next? Look what it says up here. Microwaveable in 60 seconds 
includes meat. It's a meal starter. Next thing is going to be pre-chewed food. <laughs> hey, am I right? Wait, no, wait, like wait, the wait. astronaut wait. shit. Wait. Sam, that's what Gerber's for. Yeah, hot can. Oh, We've never talked. That? Do you have it? I'm pulling it over what right now. Okay, it's a slow can. sight. Remember, it's like from the Brits. Or no, something. that's okay. This is so. Check this out. Oh, so here's man. this thing called a hot can. I like marketing. It's 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 basically bangers and beans. What? It's basically wait. It's like um, canned food, but when you when you uh, <laughs> initiate the system, there's a video someplace, Lynn. It might be under the house. You initiate the system, and the can heats itself. Get what? out of here! Are Look you at that. Kidding me? The same compound found in some toothpaste. I don't get that. that That's what activates the heat. No. I, here's the thing. You can only buy them in Britain. I went online. I tried to buy it, to have it sent here. Yeah. They, they don't ship to the States. It's not legal. I want it. Right. Probably not. I wanted to do it on here. Yeah. I'm fascinated. That's really Can you guys see if you can find the video? There's Wait, a really bad that's, video that's of cool. how the thing works. We're totally going to do that. But it's I just had an idea. You know those instant meals that they use in the military? MREs? Guys? MREs in meals Afghanistan ready to and Iraq? Yeah. We should absolutely try and get one of those in the house, and we'll, we'll test it. We'll eat it. You know how easy it would be to get a handful of Marines here? Yeah. Oh, are you kidding? We're doing Marine Week. We're doing Marine Week. Well, then we have to do Navy Week, Army Week, Coast Guard Sorry, Week, and that's we'll cool. Do we can do that. Military Week. Military Armed week. For, right. There Armed you go. We got them covered, week. right? Armed forces. I just want to look at a, a at a marine and go, drop and give me twenty. <laughs> right, right now. Get down there. Oh God, you just Sorry. scared the crap out of Lucky. <laughs> He's a little. That's dog. exactly how I yelled at us when we went dark. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I didn't yell I like that. You wanted to hear. Just like that. No, that is not. It was true. scary. You it have was a, like He that. threatened to beat me. Yeah. No God. <laughs> he said uh, he's gonna put me in the backyard. Okay, Jeez. can you just, Steve? Can you go close right here? Absolutely. Let's just take a look at my glasses for a second because they're with, within the next. Two or three weeks, I got new glasses coming. Good. That's what happens. I mean, you? not good. Those are splitting. Wait, the, day, are the, day, the days of these, the oh. the bamboo, it's over. I've had them for two or three. How many years, Kel? Maybe three. Maybe three years. <laughs> but it's time. You got to change your look. I'm a television personality. Wait, you're getting new? Oh, wait. Are they I've been from? on the Today Show 13 times. I cannot have the same glasses for more than three years. It's yeah. true. It's time. Steve oh, would Hey, speak. Steve would agree with that. Absolutely. It's time. You're sick of these, right? Hey, speaking of the Today Show, yeah. um, let's talk about what happened with your Today Show moment you in your last week while we were on spring break. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. so we're in Hawaii. Was it Thursday? Um, we're in Hawaii. Yes, I believe it was Thursday. And my, my email starts blowing up. People are going, dude. Anderson Cooper is talking about you. You're on Anderson Cooper 360, which I thought was pretty cool. Wait a sec, Max. What were you saying about Anderson Cooper earlier? Um, he's <laughs> extremely uh, ex amazing journalist. There you go. <laughs> exactly. He's a very hard hitting, serious journalist. Hard hitting. <laughs> I don't. I think it. Wait. You know what? Now you're covering up for what no, you said. No, no. But I okay. think he used to be more hard hitting, but now he's found a more yeah. Comfortable well, okay. uh, domain. During oh, the Egyptian uprising, he was yeah. in Tahrir Square, right? Yeah, fighting off, that fighting was off. Fake. Cre no, it was not. Yes. What did they like? Me? They green the screened it. No he was in it. Okay, wait, he was in a green show, screen Steve. in a studio yeah, in really Atlanta. Steve, you know how he got his media experience? How? Because of his rich mom. That was it. Hey, there's journalists okay. in line that are more more. Steve, one of his call. I don't care. If Perhaps you've not heard the expression. It's not what you know. You know exactly. There's what? more qualified journalists than he is. Okay, that's he's... well. That's not. I mean, that's not what we're debating now. What are we debating? Yeah. What are no, we debating? No. Okay. Now? One of Anderson Cooper's. <laughs> one of Anderson Cooper's colleagues, when he was in Egypt, she was attacked, taken, kidnapped, kidnapped by uh, people in the square. But yeah, and, like, a group raped of... and then finally let go. Like this was the, not like a joke. Oh, the lady from 60 Minutes. Yes. 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 Laura Lang or something, right? No, that's but you're I'm... talking about when he was hit in the head. Uh huh. Yeah. No. Oh, yeah. Head? When he was like, they were coming after him. Oh, oh, yeah. There's, oh. A vi there's yes, actually a, a video of like it. Oh. Yes. Uh, and it was like an it. accident. It wasn't even like, but he made it look okay, like. Okay. So the point yeah. is, his show is kicking ass in those, that, that time slot ratings. Yeah. He's doing really good. He's doing really well. So people dig what's going on. It's a combination of his metro sexuality with some news mixed in, Women with some him. entertainment and whatever. Yeah. It's, it's working. 
right? Ruben definitely loved right, it. So here's the beginning of the clip. So here's, the, here's oh, what it is. It's the end of the clip, actually. Sorry. Oh, it's the end of the clip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he did a thing. He basically was pretending like he was defending Hoda Kotb and oh, Kathy Lee Gifford. Oh, oh. Pay attention one minute. This is your Today Show clip. That's my Today Show uh, clip. Yes, Martha Stewart would never pull that kind of crap. So pipe <laughs> down, haters, and let Kathy Lee and Hoda do what they do best. Deliver an hour of wine-soaked TV heaven. <laughs> By the way, you know what he right referred now. to me as? That guy? That guy, that? yeah. That guy. <laughs> that guy. Or he maybe it was this guy. He say cooking guy. He oh, didn't say. I go. was waiting for him to say. I was all excited when somebody told me about the clip and I finally saw it. <laughs> I was so damn excited to hear he him say, say Sam right. Zion or Sam the cooking guy. Right, right. My hero. Yeah. Did not what did I get? I got that guy. But yeah, Don't I, do what that guy does. Big, just a big thanks to the producers of AC360 for throwing um, the cooking guy on there. And that then was tweeting cool. us back. Absolutely. I sent them a tweet and they tweeted back. They're really cool They did. That, oh, was they very, did. that was very yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah, So yeah, thank yeah. you, AC360 I producers like and Anderson Cooper. Despite what Steve and Max have said, <laughs> no, they'd be I'm a fan. <laughs> He, I take just, everything I said back. By the way, we skipped over my glass. We didn't spend enough time talking about my glasses. Okay, yeah, we can go back. New glasses? Yeah, I'm getting or new glasses. Never mind. No, I haven't ordered them. They're coming. Don't worry about it. Maybe we'll we can talk about out. your red skin right now. Am I red? You're red. A little bit. With a tan? Blotchy. Oh, you did just get really blotchy. Can I tell you something? This is interesting. I was drinking bourbon last night. Yeah. I didn't get any blotchy. It's vodka. Then. I think it's vodka. Maybe I should drink some bourbon now and see if it takes the, the red away. Hmm. Yeah, you actually really do it. got a blotch. I can see it. I don't do think alcohol the discriminates. I'm oh, just no. saying. Yeah, get the makeup. Get the makeup. I'll put it on. It's upstairs. Uh, forget the makeup. Where's your makeup, honey? It's upstairs in my bed. <laughs> it's in makeup? the black bag under the sink. Oh, don't forget the makeup. <laughs> it's in my makeup bag. bag under hey, check this out. Ready for this? Do you know what they call these a in Hawaii? Color? Flippers. Huh. Nope. What? You're close, though. What? Flip. Flippy Slippers. Floppies? Slippers. They call them slippers in the air. Really? Islands. Slippers. The locals? It stores. Everywhere. Everybody. Huh? They call them slippers. Interesting. Well, I thought that was pretty cool. Do you remember what they called them in New Zealand? Slippers. I don't know. <laughs> slippers. Slippers. Floppers. Floppies. Floppies. <laughs> Maybe people Kel's on the phone. Maybe Kel's on the phone. Do you see mom? Mom's on the oh, phone right now. Do you see that? Uh, uh, Look at that. Last night she fell phone. herself asleep, <laughs> and now she's on the phone. I just heard her go, I'm on the live cast right she now. She fell asleep on the live cast. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> can bad. we find that picture of her falling and just, asleep? Yes. Kelly, Lynn will get it. <laughs> see if you can get that. <laughs> Kel, we're talking about you. <laughs> Who was that? It was my work. I'm sorry. It was very important. Hey, can we pull up another picture real quick on Facebook? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was so funny. Look who has your glasses. Oh. Well, look at that. God. It looks like Lynn wearing my glasses. I know. That's what I was going to say. The guy I do kind of so look like, like that guy. Lynn. Lynn, are you a fan of uh, Hey June? What's his name? I have, this is American Idol, apparently. Kelly, what's that guy's name? Hey June? Um, Wait, now, what kind of question is that? Why are you asking him that question? Because... <laughs> Let's let's just talk about Cause, that because we're because we're both the same. You could ask me that question. Well, let's put it this way. Well, Steve, we know that we you're know a big. Steve we hates. know we know that Steve's a big fan of uh, like Anderson Cooper because <laughs> they share a certain lifestyle choice. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Do we ever want the Anderson Cooper people doing anything with us again? <laughs> yes. What are you saying? Is that true? Hey, not that what are you saying? Anything, there's not, not that there's anything wrong with that. Rumors. Not that there's any truth to that. Is that true? What? I didn't even say anything. I could. Well, so what, 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 what did that mean, about? actually? What did that mean? What lifestyle choice would that be? They're exactly? both very hip and cool looking. I mean, <laughs> come on, so look stupid. at that. No, that's a style. That's not a lifestyle. <laughs> <laughs> Idiot. Uh, Fuck. Oh I'm learning a lot here, yeah. and I'm around these guys a bunch. Uh, we're all learning a lot. Uh, oh wait, I got another. It's good to have the full crew back. Yes, hey, are we ever gonna do another "Who Eats This" type of thing? Because you know, Justin on Facebook says I'm a Marine and I refuse to eat MREs. <gasps> really? Well, no, but so here's what, what I've eat? here's wait, what I've heard. Justin, I've I've had Marines tell me. Some yes. of them are uh, I've had Marines tell me that there's a there's a whole world of what MREs to mix together. What? No way. It, oh. It's not just. Uh, Turkey chowder, and you bust the thing open and you suck it down. That's what she said. There's really? a world that combines two or company. three MREs. If there's anybody that has experience with multiple MRE preparation, yeah. that would be I'm sure Justin's M M R E P. Multiple, multiple MRE, MRE preparation. preparation. <laughs> uh, let us know. Because I've heard about that from more than one person. 
cool. That's interesting. Yeah, I can't. Wait, worse, I can't wait for Armed one. Forces Week now. You well, take yeah. the you take the you take the turkey chili and you put it with the oh, whatever yeah. rice and you get like like a you know like a jambalaya kind of thing. It's that kind. Huh. I think it would be fun to do that one day. Yeah, we'll have cool. some Marines here. About the guy uh, who said he wouldn't need it. He doesn't need a Marines. What would you eat if you didn't? If you didn't need what, it? What you? What could you have? What, yeah. Ask him what he has. Who? Justin? Was it Justin? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll we'll, let's, we'll find him. Yeah, we'll ask. Ask what? So what do you eat when you're out in the field? Because I would think that's all you have. Look, right? hey, when, Neil, Neil Thornton already answers. Yes, there is a whole science to MRI. There you go. Up. That's well, what Neil, it is. Enlighten us, my man. Enlighten us. Yeah, yeah, that's what we need. We need some Marines here uh, with some MREs. And if they come here, can they drink? Uh, why wouldn't they? I, why, yeah. I don't see. They, if yeah. they're in uniform, they probably can't. Yeah. We want them in uniform. Maybe they'll be uniform on their afternoon off or something. Anyway. Okay, wait. We we have um we have some info. Do they get time Allison off? Allison Lynch, MRE heating element, broken up in an empty three-liter soda bottle with a bit of water, <laughs> then slap the cap on quick and duct tape it so it's airtight. Oh, it's an explosion. <laughs> <laughs> I love how you read it without even previewing it. She's blowing shit up. <laughs> that's awesome. No, like, that's cute, but I we're talking about <laughs> eating it. I thought she was going to be like, you, this we're is the ultimate about mixing thing. We're talking about eating it. We were all sucked in there for a I second. I know. <laughs> okay, Sarah is back. It looks like she got a job, which is why Sarah? she hasn't been around. Sarah she has. She hasn't been around? <laughs> oh. But she says that she submitted her entry for the t-shirt contest and wants to know if she that's right thank you for mentioning the t-shirt contest so uh, at the end the uh, deadline was last night we're going to take the next couple days monday we'll have a decision if there's if there's a decision and please note that from the beginning i said if there was one that we would all wear and it will be a uniform decision between the crew simple mm -hmm. yeah. monday we'll be back with that and so what if there isn't well, then we, 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 uh, I don't know. We might we have to figure something out. That's yeah. so mean. Okay. <laughs> People Wait are going to have really hurt feelings. Well, I appreciate that. And there's some, uh, have you seen some of them? <laughs> I'm, everybody, I'm being, I have nothing I'm being as nice as I, I'm being as nice I as I can. I appreciate everybody's efforts. Of course, I love them. And I appreciate the efforts, but have you seen some of them? <laughs> No, I don't have access to that. Well, let's just put it this way. We have to pass Steve's impeccable style judgment. Oh, yeah. He's part of the life. <laughs> I get tossed into this. Because <laughs> you're the one that we all, you know, strive to be like. I mean, you were just talking all that right. shit about Anderson. I mean. <laughs> Max, you got to stop that. My boy, man. Anderson. God. <laughs> hey, let's talk about the new site. Yeah, let me just talk about Donovan's Prime Seafood and Donovan's Steak and Chop House before we get there. Nice. Which is actually on the site. Which is actually on the site. Yes, we're going to see it in a mm -hmm. second. We, um, we've had them as a sponsor since the beginning. Uh, we adore them. They believed in us. They believed in us. And that steak right there, that filet, that, there's Kelly's order right there. Yep. Mm. When we go there, Kelly is a filet person. That's always what she has. Mm -hmm. When I'm trying to eat well, I'll have a filet. When I don't care about what I'm eating, I have the bone-in ribeye, which mm. honestly is one of the most delicious Cuts of meat and places to ever order it, ever in the history of steakdom. So good. Wow. Not to mention that you can get that the Captain good. Crunch seared tuna, Sam the Cooking Guy's version on their menu in the restaurant, in the bar, and in the restaurant. Still? And we, yeah. That's awesome. Here's the thing. In the bar menu, it says Sam the Cooking Guy's Captain Crunch seared tuna. In the restaurant, it says Captain Crunch seared tuna. And I go... Hey, I'm not being um, <laughs> egotistical credit, about this, but where's my name? They go, it's just too many words. I remember that. Oh, oh yeah. Like simple. Sam is so much more difficult. No, no, no. Sam the oh. cooking guy. If you just named no, yourself I, Jeff I in the beginning or Sam was just through the, it would be there. I but mean, that menu is dense. It has it's a, a big ass menu. Yeah, 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 yeah. So. Is it? I usually just know what I want. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> okay. right. Yeah, you do. Okay, I stopped paying attention for a minute. What else is new? What happened? I don't know. Sorry for us talking about thinking, our sponsor no, that makes about, it possible no. for you to. I was thinking about jelly, j jelly, jelly being a vegetarian <laughs> and you showing the picture of the meat and how much I like the meat. That's what she said. And <laughs> oh, then I looked at the Facebook, the Facebook, and Brenda said, stop playing with your feet. Ew, you'll be cooking. 
Oh, was and that? And then I got grossed you out. Really so you go feet? over right now oh, and wash your hands. No, no, wash your hands. Yeah. Yes. That's How can anybody so see gross. that? I think we see oh, right I there. Oh, I see. Touching yeah. my foot. Yes. And that's disgusting. I so think you go, need to do that too. And your feet are so gross. Go wash your hands now. Sam, I. <laughs> oh, and we have the infectious diseases doctor here. And your feet like aren't that. particularly pretty, Dad. Okay, you can all just bite me. <laughs> Shit. Go wash. I'll You're do that. Whatever, man. I'll I eat do whatever. Fine. I'm gonna no do question. that. Okay, now talk about the site. I could go over there and start cooking something. <laughs> well, there's I mean, as much as you know. We just we develop. We put together a new site. Lynn slaved away. Oh. What? Can I go go over there and start? Yeah, go for it. Oh wait, you want to cook? You want to start cooking? Let's talk about the same. All right. I mean, there's not <laughs> no, too no, no, much let's to talk about. about it. I just want no, to show No, no, no. Let's talk about the same. Let's uh, talk about it. Okay, I just want to show. I what? I just want to show everybody the new site. There it so is. So we've changed. If you go to the samlivecast.com. Uh -huh. Oh, by the way, this isn't the front page. That's the front not page it. Page is where it's live, but because it's live, I don't want to like play it back uh -huh. oh i back. see but this I is see, so, I see. we oh. just want to show let's go down to the bottom where we can show the recipes that you can flip through no so then go to the go to the live page <laughs> should we do this sam you're gonna i feel like would this it would be weird this would be this is like break the space time say. continuum Actually, let yeah, me see let me gonna, see what happens <laughs> oh wait oh, yeah, it's gonna so like yell some more go sterilize and everybody hand. knows that this is weird it's not that weird yet. It it's is. like a screen within a screen it's within like a screen. screen. <laughs> yeah. Okay, stop that. that. It's freaking me out. That's Something's so weird. Okay, let's go to another page. I like. I really like. This is my favorite page personally. I'm gonna go to the recipe page. Yeah, yeah the recipe page is great. Yeah. Lynn has been oh, taking amazing. Lynn, you've shots. done it. You did an amazing job on the break. Yeah, Lynn's That's been great. taking so many, so many shots for a long. And so, very long and so, time. choose one of them and show what happens. Uh, -huh. uh let's choose black bean salmon. So you mm. click on it, right? And then, whoa, whoa, whoa Haley. Oh, <laughs> Haley doesn't like salmon, apparently. Right, so there's the black bean salmon shot. Beautiful. I could make that tonight for Jilly's parents, Max. Oh, do this, guys. Mm. Which, by the which by the way, click like. They have, uh, yeah, click like. Which, by the way, they um, make um, cedar plank salmon all the time. So <laughs> maybe I need to make something different, Max. <laughs> well, guess what? They haven't made it all winter long, and that's a long time up okay. in Canada. Okay. So go back to go back to the site. A long time <laughs> in Edmonton. <laughs> well, no, we, we I mean we pretty much did it. We went through it. It's the same. But it's basic nice, format, and it's, it's there, and then yeah, so you can go down. You can scroll down. You can see the recipe. Mm -hmm. You can click on episodes up at the top, Lynn, mm -hmm. and it takes you to the episode page. Mm -hmm. We have over 120 Mocha Mocha. episodes. Last people. night was 120, and then That's you can scroll lot. down. They load up, and then you can see. Look at that. That was Steve. You know what that was? You missed that last Something night. Something that I missed. It's from Hawaii. It's called Loco Moco. Oh, I it's have Loco Moco. Yeah, rice, gravy. burger on top, Maui onion sautéed gravy, and a fried egg on top of it. Mm -hmm. It was really mm. good. Okay, and well, so they're yeah, there, there, and you can is. scroll down, and you can watch, and you can see, and you can make the recipes. It's mm -hmm, all good. Mm -hmm. Chili pork pie was super delicious. That was great, yeah. That was great, yeah. Uh, by the way, I'm making that in my class tomorrow night. Are you? Yep. Nice. At Fixtures Living, I'll talk about them in a second. I think it's time to hop in the kitchen. Okay, I'm ready. You ready? Tell me when. Go. Uh, hey, what's going on here? Mm -hmm. What were you guys just talking about? Washing your hands. Oh. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I was going to do soap. Look. This is a first. <laughs> Look, you see it. Right. <laughs> Feet to hands. Okay, Feet I didn't realize. Hand. I didn't realize that my uh, my. <laughs> I had a foot fetish. <laughs> Awkward. With your own feet. I know. Is it a fetish if it's your own thing? I don't know. That sounds weird, but it probably is on some level, right? All right, so here's what we're doing. Um, we've already established the fact that Jilly's parents are here, Max's girlfriend. Jilly and her parents are here visiting from Canada. Yeah, what's up, everybody? And so uh, when the live cast ends tonight and everybody leaves, which, by the way, guys, you leave quickly, I'm making dinner for them. And I thought, <laughs> do I want to make dinner and an appetizer? I'll make the appetizer now. <laughs> Perfect. Because I'm smart. Oh, let me turn it this. It doesn't get better than that. Broil, turn that on. Uh, okay, so here's what I'm doing. I'm doing this little... Um, Shit. Diane has a great comment uh, on Facebook. I forgot to get... Which one? 
foot fetish? Yeah. What tipped you off? <laughs> Colored flip flops to coordinate your outfits? <laughs> Pedicures? <laughs> hey, hey, easy now. So Should check we bring this the out. picture back out? I'm doing a, um, a multiple um, mushroom crostini kind of thing. Wow. I you know. Crostini, which is really just a fancy name for like a baguette crispy deal with junk on top. So I'm using uh, shiitake mushrooms right here. And I always twist off the stems. The stems are a little too woody for me. I don't want them. Shiitakes are super luscious. They're just a great mushroom, one of my favorites. But I like to do different types of mushrooms in this. You could do anything you wanted. You could do all button, all crimini, or what did we decide? How did we decide we were saying crimini? Cremini. Cremini, is that right, Lynn? Cremini. Is that right? I say Cremini. I don't think I've ever heard it. What was the other one? Cremini? Cremini. Cremini. Cremini? Jim, like Jiminy Cricket? No, it's Cremini? nothing like that. It's like well, when you say advertisements. Yeah. It's Cremini, I think. Okay, now I feel like you guys wanted me to cut these earlier. But that's okay. That's why I wanted to come over here and talk about the website. So it gave me a couple minutes to do some of this. Prepare something in advance? <laughs> like, no. You know what? No, no, no. Let me just remind people that I like not to do stuff in advance because I want you to see that you can do these things in real time. Yep. I think that's hey, super important. Hey, and we've got that we've got a new tagline for the show. What? Uncensored, uncut, and unlike any cooking show you've ever seen. And nobody can deny that that's not true. That is true. Uncensored, uncut, and unprepared. <laughs> Hey, we're not, I'm not saying uncensored, uncut, and the best cooking show you've ever seen. I'm saying uncensored, uncut, and unlike any other cooking show you've ever seen. I think that's probably true, right? Yeah. That's probably true. Okay, so here's my goal. My goal is to get a mix of all three of these. I mean, how many chefs are going to sit there and bore you while they cook, while they chop mushrooms? <laughs> okay, don't be like that now. Come on. No, all those stupid shows do that... Um, they do this. I know. I'm just messing with you. Okay, so look at now our oyster mushrooms. And these guys I really love. And I find these stems a little different, so I leave all of these on. I just try and cut them lengthwise like this. Oyster mushrooms are crazy and just nice. So are they called oyster mushrooms because they kind of look like oysters? I don't know. I mean, I suppose they do, but I don't think they look like oysters. They kind of, I don't know. They kind of do to me. Like the, sh like the shell, hard shell part of it? Oh, maybe that's it. Maybe somebody could tell me. I'll look it up. Let us know. I felt I was about to fall asleep, so by, we'll do something. <laughs> by the way, I love, I, the idea of, I love the idea of military week. Yeah. That's yeah, really cool. We are absolutely a, doing... No, Armed Forces Week. Armed Forces mm -hmm. Week. What technically does designate the military? I mean, does that, is it everything? Is that like an umbrella for all the branches? I think it does, yeah. Okay, in go these. And you know that mushrooms all shrink so much, right? So we want to put a bunch in here because we don't want them. What was that? Oh, no. Because we want to make sure that we have enough after. So, would you call these, Lynn? Cremini? Cremini. Yeah, Carmini. Can I interject really quick? Yeah. So whenever, as long as you're not telling us that we've lost the live cast <laughs> like and the feed is gone. Ever. No, he's, he's not sweating right now, so I know we're okay. But I was saying, like, when I, I first learned to cook, I always just bought boxes of mushrooms and practice cutting with that. And then after a while, you get really good with your knife. So. Yeah. No, mushrooms are a great thing to uh, to practice on. Just the tip there. Just the tip. That's cute. Thank you. I can't find anything about the oysters, Max. I'm trying hard. Mm. Did you, t Kelly, Google why are oyster mushrooms called oyster mushrooms? Okay. That'll come up. Blake is making fun of my grammar. <laughs> is he? It's true. I did not use a very good sentence. Nobody can deny that's not, that that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> There's like seven negatives in I it. I like that. He goes, good one, Max. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mushrooms here. We're doing fine. You just clean this part up now. I don't need the rest of these. So what are you doing with these? Uh, well, right now I'm just softening them. Okay. I want them to soften up to the point where they're going to be like supple and delicious. But I'm going to add a couple things to them. 
And I can't remember what those things are. I'm going to try and go from memory. This recipe is somewhere on the website. If somebody would like to tell me, I think it's called mushroom castini. It, it needs some garlic. It needs some uh, rosemary. Okay, I've it says that bread. it is easily recognized, by the way, it grows on wood in shelf, shell, well, shelf-like clusters. I thought it said shell-like clusters, like oyster shell. Let's go with, we're going to go with oyster shell. Okay, so nothing in here, dry pan, just the, the mushrooms right now. I'm going to throw just a little oil in. And we're going to let this start to soften even more. I should just throw the rest of these guys in. I can just see it's going to happen. And why am I saving them, right? There's no point. Pardon my back, Steve. But just let me do this. I should just cut the rest of these things and just throw them in here right now while I still can. Yeah, more chopping. <laughs> Blake's comment is very funny. More silent chopping. <laughs> so somebody say something. I don't really care what anybody has to say about anything. Are you going to fixtures tomorrow? Because once again, I'm working and cannot go. Tomorrow's uh, Friday. I have a, a doctor eye appointment at... Oh, yeah, I'm going to fixtures tomorrow. Yeah. I want to uh, go and I? I can't. I have a class there tomorrow night, actually, also. There'll be a lot of fixtures for me tomorrow. But all you do is work now, sweetheart. Yeah, I have to pay for somebody to go to college. Oh, well, yeah, that's right. College. All right. It's overrated. Okay, yeah. so check this out. So the mushrooms now are softening really beautifully. We're going to get a couple of things in a minute. I'll turn them down a little bit, let them do their thing. All right, so watch this, Steve. Andrew wants to know what kind of oil? Uh, it's just a little olive. That's all. I've got garlic that's going to get ready to get busted into that. Not quite yet. It's at the ready. Uh, and so check this out. I need some, we're going to do like a bread that Christine implies there's some bread component to this. So I got this. I don't know how to say it. Pugliese? Pugliese? Let's see. Ask Lynn. <laughs> what is that, Lynn? He's even going to fake Pugliese. it. Pugliese. I don't... Look at the screen. Pugliese. P-U-G-L-I-E-S-E. -E. Pugliese. Have no Nobody knows. <laughs> but here's what I wanted. I wanted a, um, like a... Like a dense kind of bread that was hearty and, as I say, has a good crumb. And I... That's a word that I heard from a bread guy that I know. I don't even know if it's accurate. Crumb. This is getting perfect. You can see everything softening really nicely. I and actually have I'm a question. Yet. Yeah. The question this morning that we were laughing about. When you open a jar of jam or jelly, does it have to be in the refrigerator or can you keep it on oh, the shelf? Oh, mom. I know. <laughs> <laughs> You've somehow ma managed to go through my entire all, your life. entire life without knowing that you need to put it back in the fridge. Right, but I hate my jam in the fridge. And we opened a jar yeah, last Yeah, cold night. jam sucks. I like it cold. What is the plan? I have no idea what the rule oh, is. Can I just say to Becky, thanks so much for that jam you sent us. It right. was so good. Becky, that's what we're talking about this morning. Yeah. We were arguing. Whether we put your jam, ask her. Becky's going to tell, tell us. She'll tell us should, what Please. we should do with her jam. Okay, so I'm just cutting this fairly thin, right? And a serrated knife. And if you don't have a serrated knife, it's difficult to cut bread. When you go to cut bread without a serrated knife, the whole thing like squishes down like this. Steve, right here. Squishes down like this. Well, there's and a that's second camera like, there. Oh, there is? Yes. Oh, right there. There look. we go. Squishes down like that. And that's not what you want. And the serrated knife keeps the shape of it really beautifully for you. So, look okay, it. We're almost there. Hey, but would you spend a lot of money on that? On what? On a serrated knife? Yeah. You shouldn't have to. They don't have to be. They don't okay. need to be expensive. All right. So, we're doing really nice here. Yeah, they look great. 
They're gonna be, they're gonna I like be the different types of mushrooms in there. Yeah, that's you a can good tell. thing. Yep. You don't, again, you don't have to use a whole bunch of different types of mushrooms, but, but you can. And I just think it makes the flavor more interesting uh, if you do. So here's what we're going to do with this. We're going to take a bunch of these. We're going to put them on here. So far, I'm getting fridge. What does that mean? Fridge? Do you that people say it needs oh, people to be are in the saying fridge. Put it in the fridge. Mom, it says refrigerate Max, after you're open. <laughs> you are almost 24 years old, and you ate jelly and jam in a cupboard for 19 of those years. Maybe that's your problem. I like it cold. I'm sorry. You okay there, buddy? What's Me? <laughs> yeah, you. Oh, because I got quiet? I don't know. I'm just doing my yeah, work right like here. You you're focusing very hard. I am. I just want to make sure that I've got, you know, I probably have too much bread here for what this amount of mushrooms is going to turn into. Okay, so look, at a little bit more olive oil right here. And here's what I'm going to add. I'm going to add this garlic now, which is right here. Where is it? You're going Sorry. back and forth. Right here. Check this out. Not too much. Hold on, Kale. Okay. Garlic, give it a second to start to flavor this up. Uh, if I had fresh rosemary, I'd be using it. And in the absence of fresh rosemary, shit! <laughs> I don't have any rosemary. How we is that don't? possible? That's weird. Do we have some outside? No. In your garden? No. No, our garden had a problem. Oh my God, Terry Bannister has a great point. What, she has rosemary she can no. bring over? No, look at ketchup. They always have it out at the restaurant, but at home it goes in the fridge. That's yeah, but see, I grew right. in my house growing up, the ketchup was never, ever in the fridge. Shit. And I'm alive. This is pissing me off. Well, just use the oregano. You and people see in the olden days didn't really know what to, you rosemary. were doing. But I know I have rosemary. I'm pretty sure they can't hear me right Hold now. Hold on. Oh. <laughs> Go that way. Dude. Right. Sam, can I say something really cool? Yes. Diane says to make the crostini out of sliced solid polenta, fry Ooh. it up with olive oil, and then top it with the mushrooms. <sighs> that I love. Yeah. Well, thank you for now eating what I'm about <laughs> yeah. to make for Your you. Your dish <laughs> sucks for our company. No, but I God. wanted rosemary. And God, I don't want Sam. time, and I don't want... F oh, rosemary. Got to impress. <laughs> I Never mind. And that's what you make? Wait. I'm going back to work. Hey, Sam. Yeah. Bobby Norton, now that Vincent Jackson is gone, who will the next athlete on the show be? Oh. Actually, Vincent's going to come back, and he's buying us all new cameras, and he's giving, <laughs> he's doubling our salaries. And paying for Zach to go to college. Yep, all of the above. Thanks, Vincent. Vince. Vincent Jackson. Okay, so some fresh ground pepper, a little bit of salt, just a tiny bit. Nice. Right, so now we're all nice here. So there's one more component that's going to help this. Well, maybe two things, but one that will help this get really soft and beautiful. Mm -hmm. Turn the heat up a little bit there. I'm going to put this under the broiler just to get it a little bit uh, crispy. Okay. For a second. Just for a second. You have to watch it because it can get away from you really easily. Is this my drink? Probably. Mm -hmm. Right, there's been nothing that's been too complicated yet, right? Nope, and it smells delicious. I always say that, you're not getting any, so. <laughs> just keep talking about how good it is. No, it smells really good. No, you didn't want this. You wanted the things made with the polenta. And don't think I didn't think about polenta today. Did you really? Yes. I love grilled polenta with stuff on it. Mm. Me too. I like grilled mashed polenta. Yeah, I like Okay, it so here, watch this. I gotta be really careful because if this thing gets out of control, I'm gonna be really sorry. <laughs> I could definitely see One more second, those. Steve, back up. Watch what I have to get. There's two more items going in here, and here's one of them. That's the alcohol cabinet. Oh my god, I don't have it. <laughs> what are you Seriously? looking for? No, uh, Wait. What are you looking for? I got it. Oh, uh, Zach took it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> shut up. Zach vermouth. Okay, vermouth and mushrooms. Yeah, he's taking vermouth. Okay. Yeah, you never know. <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> so check this out, right? 
<laughs> so the first <laughs> the side has gotten a little. Sherry. Sh- sh- the first <laughs> side is Kelly has gotten a little crispy, right? <laughs> so I'm going to turn this over. I'm going to give this just Kelly's a second. in her own world God, tonight. God, do you have any <laughs> I love sense it. That something's going on over here, Kel? <laughs> <laughs> Freaking clown. All right, ready? And now this. Should probably do it off the heat because it's alcohol and. We want to see flames. No, don't. What? Don't do that. Yeah. No, it's not. The pan's too big. <laughs> so we'll give it this, and you can see it shrinks down even more. Valerie Cannon? Yeah. She found her favorite cabinet in the house, the liquor cabinet. <laughs> Alright, so now just a little butter. I mean, just to add a little flavor, right? Can you explain what the vermouth vermouth does? Yeah, the vermouth just adds that sort of uh, slightly boozy little wine wine kind of flavor to it. It's really nice. Just a touch, right? Just a touch. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And here's the thing. I think we've talked about this before. Vermouth is considered a fortified wine, which means that it can sit on the shelf stable. Oh. If you're cooking with something, if you're making a risotto or like a pan sauce or something and or some, you're going to saute some mushrooms and you want to add a little wine to it. You can open a bottle of wine and you can use it, but then you obviously have to drink the bottle of wine. Vermouth sits on the shelf. And if you're making burgers, you want to saute up a whole bunch of mushrooms, some vermouth right out of this little bottle that sits on your shelf for a long time adds a ridiculous amount of flavor without being like any work, right? Mm-hmm. I love that one recipe you have with the the beef and the vermouth and the cream. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. right? Nice. Okay, so here's our goal, right? I hope we have enough. So now we're gonna put some mushrooms on all of these. And this might be boring. Sorry, I apologize for you guys in the back. That, But it is a cooking show. I have the funniest comments right now. Sarah writes, this is the final countdown when Sam goes berserk. <laughs> what is that and, even? Why, why am I Blake, going berserk? Blake writes, you guys ever notice that Sam gets really ghetto once the cooking starts? Yeah, he does. <laughs> okay, you know what? Here's the thing. And, I, and I'm, look, my background is this is a cooking show. This, I come from a cooking show. All day long, it's a cooking show. Not this, regular Sam the cooking guy. So when it comes time for this, and you guys are interrupting and talking and making fun, I think that's all very cute and everything. But I want to make sure that people understand how to make stuff. Mm-hmm. Steve knows that. We've shot enough together that Steve understands that it's important for me that people understand how to make what it is that I'm demoing. And if you guys want to be tools and laugh and make your little dumb jokes all the way through, that's fine. But somebody has to bring this shit back to fucking home base and let people know what it is that I'm making so they can make it at home. Thank you very much. Your mom makes it. <laughs> I've always said, I remember when I started Sam the Cooking Guy, and my second oldest brother, Richard, said, I think what you need to do is I think you need to show all the ingredients up on the screen. Butter, cheese, milk, flour, whatever it is. And I said, dude, I'm hoping that the stuff I'm doing is simple enough that they will all get it. They won't need to see the ingredients on the screen. And he goes, well, I disagree with you. And I go, well, that disagree. It's not your show. It's mine. <laughs> and so, and I feel like that. But the point is, uh, I want to make sure that people get what it is that I'm making here. Mm-hmm. And so when you guys want to interrupt and talk about your cute little things and wait, so I was comments, a, uh, that's wait, fine. Can I interrupt for that. <laughs> I'm just going to bring it back. Uh, I was just interrupting. You I know exactly. Just, okay, wait, now. just to cut to Facebook real quick. Brenda Palstring. Pal- just have to say, love hanging out at the Zion house, even if it's just on my screen. Brenda, thank you. That is exactly what we're going for. And by she's the way, a if we, she's a creeper. <laughs> she's I'm a kidding. Creeper. That's not nice, <laughs> Kelly. I'm kidding. Okay, right? So here's what we've got. We've got this, one last thing, and then I'm going to just throw it into the back of the oven just for a second. Is a little Parmesan cheese. Now you're talking. Ooh. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Nice. We have Jilly's brother commenting. 
Really? Yeah. Out of the family or something? You guys are all there. Oh, they poor just guy. haven't told him. <laughs> Surprise. Sorry, Micah. That's a rough way to hear. <laughs> Sorry, it. Micah. They're not coming back. <laughs> right. So this just goes back in for a second, not too high up, because I don't want it to get too crispy anymore. I just want the whole thing to warm up and the the cheese to do something. Check this out. And this is the perfect time to talk about one of our sponsors, Lynn. Yeah. Do you have that? Uh, oh, you're over there. <laughs> what do you we, we need that. We need the fixtures living uh, page. Oh. Got it. That special one that I sent. Special one. Hey, you can't take music off my computer, but if I stand close enough to it, you'll get it, right? I think so. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yep. Uh, okay. Cleaning on the way. Okay. Uh, so just... here's the deal. <laughs> oh, I got to do two things. Oh, I don't have it. I, oh, oh, oh. Shh, 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 shh. wait, don't we do this in advance of the show so that when it comes down to it, oh. we have it? Oh. Oh. That's very strange. Jeez. Weird. That's awkward. So thing. Fixtures Living has something in the month of April called Patio Nation. It's life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness on a bun. <laughs> it's all about... That's cool. Cooking outside. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to read that paragraph that's right there mm -hmm. with this music playing. Hold on. <laughs> Such a dork. Oh. <laughs> this is actually kind of entertaining. <laughs> As the official governing body of an unofficial made up country, <laughs> it is our distinct pleasure to welcome you to Patio Nation, a land not of milk and honey. But instead of cold beer, sizzling steaks, killer pizzas, and other prized national treasures, we invite you to tour our grand republic all <laughs> April long, especially on Fridays and Saturdays, when incredible grilling demos performed on incredible products will produce incredible lured dishes. In the patio nation, we're a little more relaxed about our English. April 6th and 7th, <laughs> demos with Evo and the Big Green Egg. I have a Big Green Egg. The 13th and 14th, demos with Fire Magic and AOG. 20th and 21st, DCS and the Evo, which I'm dying to own and I don't. And April 27th and 28th, demos with Wolf and the Woodstone Hearth, which is amazing. Join us early and often April 1st to 30th as we celebrate the onset of grilling season here in the Patio Nation, also known as the land of the free, demos and tastings. <laughs> Fixtureslivingcom here in San Diego, on Dowdy Street off of Miramar Road. Costa Mesa. If you care about, no, they're not, oh well, they're everywhere. They're Costa Mesa uh -huh. and Rancho Mirage, but they're only doing this here. If you care about outdoor grilling and cooking <laughs> and eating, life, Liberty in the pursuit of happiness on a bun. Let's hear the stump speech. You'll join us at the Patio Nation Fixtures Living for the month of April, especially Fridays and Saturdays. That's it. Q Thank applause. you very much. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> not, not bad for Canadians. Not bad for Canadians. All right, so <laughs> here's what they look like, right? They're beautiful. Jeez, they look amazing. They look great. Wait, let's make them look even even prettier. That looks amazing. We'll put them on. Your mom looks amazing. <laughs> we'll put them on here. And they're just going to get one more thing. Who can guess what it is? Um, green onion. <laughs> Cilantro. Nope. Salt and pepper. Steve already hit it. Salt and pepper. Oh, a little drizzle of olive oil. A little drizzle of olive oil. Oh. We're really good olive oil. Oh. That looks delicious. You're not getting any because you've already, <laughs> you've already you torn my hands, heart out. So I'm happy to have it. <laughs> by telling me that uh, you didn't want these. And I'll make two plates and the Canadians can have some because this is their appetizer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this, by the way, you know, I mean, we have people over and people always say, oh, your plates and blah, blah, blah. These are plastic that I think I got it, what's that place I like, Kelly? Crates and Barrels. <laughs> I used to work, I used to work with an English woman that said, I've got to go down to Crates and Barrels. 
<laughs> Her name is Hazel. Hazel, I'm going to crates and barrels. <laughs> All right, little good olive oil, whatever kind you really like. No, not this one. It's not open. Brenda writes, this is when I'm reminded that I'm not really there. I can't taste a thing. Mm, no, sorry. Sorry, Brenda. But you know what? Don't forget what we're doing. We're doing uh, the live cast remote at Fixtures Living in the month of April, and you'll be able to come down, we think. We haven't decided yet. Boys and girls, we have to talk about this. You'll be able to come down. I'll make one right here for me. <laughs> and uh, enjoy our company, our food, our alcohol, whatever we have with us and watch everything that goes on. And Steve won't be wearing a shirt that night, so. <laughs> all right, so check it out. Three different types of mushrooms, all looking beautiful in there with a little vermouth and garlic and a little rosemary and just a little uh, fresh grated parm, not grated, fresh Parmesan on the top at the end. Mmm, not all well. Nice, delicious, super easy. Mmm. Oh. 61 minutes. <laughs> My bad. 62. Six <laughs> well, it would have been 61 if we hadn't had that blip in the middle of the beginning. I think that was more like five minutes. <laughs> Whatever. Right. Anyway, thank you for being here. It's Thursday night. Make something good this weekend. This is a perfect appetizer for people that you love, like the people that I love that are over there. They're going to eat this right now. We'll be back here Monday night. We've got all kinds of fun stuff planned. And now we're working towards military week. Have a good weekend. Don't eat shitty food. See ya. <laughs>